In this discussion, you can see how to use three comma id special command in Odoo. What is the purpose of this command and how we can use this command in backend side, especially the one to many relational field. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to create icons using icon builder website, please check link is given in description. And if you go to here in the playlist, you can see here the Odoo special commands. So we already explained like how the zero comma false command is working. Then after one comma id, two comma id, and now we are we will see the practical example like how we can use three comma id. So if you are following this Odoo version 13 and 14 development technical training, then you don't need to refer this playlist because this is the main playlist of the Odoo and now you can see here like edit related tips and python related tips also available for more information you can just access this playlist and for the source code you will get from here from here and let's back to our main topic today like how we can use 3 comma id but before that first let me show you what is the difference between 2 comma id and 3 comma id so let me go to here in the school profile let's say we have 21 school profiles here and let me open the school file but right now you can see here student list is not available so this is meaningless for us to test but okay you can see here the school iit and iit school having a three student profiles you can see here like let me click to this edit and yeah first thing is like this school profile is the parent model and the student profile is the child model of this parent model so here whatever operations you are doing in the current screen which is the parent model screen and right now whatever operations you are performing here like let's say adding a new student or updating any student or delete any student that means you are just performing any operations from the parent model so let's say I'm just trying to delete this Ramu student and try to click to the save button. You can see it's deleted permanently. And if you are going to here in the student profile, you cannot see here the Ramu as a student, right? So it's permanently deleted. And if you go to here in the pie charm in the editor and you can see here, you can see here the school profile right method calls like with the school underscore list this is the one to many field of the student profile and now you can see here like Odoo uses only special commands so there is no any update uh, like there is no any unlink or update method call for the child model I mean the student profile right the Odoo itself using the special commands and right now you can see here it's two comma id and then after this false false means nothing we need to pass just we need to pass it is the static 2 2 means we can just delete permanently this id this 131 this student id now you can see after this log you can see this one like deleted school.student profile automatically this one whatever we mention here after 2 comma id you can see it's permanently delete this record set so Odoo automatically manage these things like if you want to delete permanently then you can use this one but let's say if you don't want to permanently remove the specific record set then just you can use 3 comma id that's it that's the difference only so let's see how we can do from front end side from the back end side but let me go to in front end side to give you more update uh, let's say I'm going to in school profile again like let's say this Kapil Sarma so now you can see total four students is available but let me add here the database ID ID also so I'm going to in developer mode don't worry about this developer I will explain everything related this developer mode and how we can use this one so I'm just using ID and let's say like save and I'm just trying to refresh the page 
so you will get idea like now you can see this id we add in list view like you can see here like 311 313 314 and 316 okay uh, let me also open a new tab here and let me add I'm just copy this one so Kapil student sorry so we don't need to copy this one like Kapil student I'm going to in student profile like Kapil student I'm just searching okay it's by default searching straight student so let me add here like name content Kapil student now you can see here the four record is available first I will try to delete permanently using two comma ID and then after we will try the same operation using three comma ID so I'm going to here so editor open the our school module let's say in view part as well as the school profile like let's say def special command 3 self and just passing is a pass keyword and I'm just trying to add here one more button and special command 3 type object string equal to special command 3 id 0 so we have to remember like 3 comma id comma 0 or false so we added here in the view part now we are doing one operation let's say self dot write and in this write method we have to mention the student underscore list sorry school underscore list because if you see here the field name is school underscore list type is one to many and this model is school dot student so let me first delete this 311 id using special command like here I'm just using 2 comma 311 comma false so you can see here for the 2 comma id comma false this method is only used to permanently delete the records like this way multiple records but right now we are just removing only one record and trying to go to in terminal plus i'm just trying to upgrade school module i try to minimize and go to front end side and just refresh the page after refresh you can see here the id field is invisible so let me add one more time here uh, this is for the temporary don't worry field name equal to id one more time we have to refresh the page and now you can see the id is also display so in backend side what we add like 311 id permanently remove using 2 comma id command and if you see here the special command 3 is there and once I will click you can see here the 311 ID is completely removed and if I'm going to here and trying to refresh the page you can see this first record it's automatically delete from the database I mean from the current table this school underscore student table but if you don't want to remove the specific record set but just you have to remove from the one to many list 
but not here from the main record it is also possible so odoo provides like you can just use 3 comma id like let's say i am using 313 let me confirm the id you can see here 313 okay um and now i'm going to here in backend side and just trying to restart the service no need to upgrade the module minimize and i'm going to here in front end side and just trying to click this button okay now you can see it's removed from here in this list but if you go to here and trying to refresh so you can see here the id is still there 131 only the difference is you can see the school name is unlinked from the many to one field from this student profile from like let's say from here so if you want to add one more time here like let's say if you want to add the same record set so simply you have to select this select the specific record set here and when you refresh the page you can see here that id also visible so you can see this magic right so you also understood right like what is the difference between 2 comma id and 3 comma id so that's the main difference here like 2 comma id you have to remember like if you want to permanently remove the specific record set then you can just use 2 comma id and if you don't want to remove the record permanently but you have to just unlink from this list from this one to many list then you can just use 3 comma id i hope you understood this special command in case you have any doubt or query please comment below and see you in next session